Welcome back to TMA3, everybody. It is Faith Friday, and we love it around here. We're excited for our next guest who's in studio with us. He's a New York Times best-selling author known for his inspirational storytelling. And he has just released his seventh book titled Undistracted, Capture Your Purpose, Rediscover Your Joy. Please welcome humanitarian and founder of the nonprofit human rights organization Love Does, Bob Goff. Thank you for being with us. Hi, thanks a million for having me on. Good and, to see you both. And this book came in the nick of time because you said you created this book because it seemed like the world was getting too loud. Mm. Why do you think we're all so distracted? Yeah, sometimes you write the book you need. <laughs> I get distracted pretty easy. You know, you see like the squirrel. I'm like, squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> I think what's happening is that uh, there's so many important things going on around us. What happens, we get distracted by what's going on around us. We kind of lose track of what God's doing within us. Mm -hmm. And so this was uh, kind of a book to myself, a reminder, a tap on the shoulder. to you say, what's the most important thing? And can we focus back on that? Uh, a reminder. One of the quotes is that God gave you all permission, um, the permission you need. He gave you all the permission you need. You don't need it from anyone else. You say, don't get distracted by trying to get permission from everybody else. Put, can you expound on that a little bit? Yeah, sometimes we think we grow up asking for permission for everything. Um, we say, can we do this? Can we do that? What we do is we make up stories about our life. We make up a story that uh, people aren't safe. Uh, and then you make up rules to support the stories. Uh, so you make a rule that I'm not going deep with anybody because the underlying story is that people aren't safe. And what I want to do is go revisit the story and go see the rule that you made up and say, gosh, can, can we rewrite the rule? Can we say that maybe that there's some people that are difficult to be around, but we don't need to isolate ourselves. We don't need to get a distracted getting approval from strangers. We can actually say that God has given us just such a wide, beautiful life, and that we can start loving everybody, not just a couple people that agree with us. <laughs> well, this is the moment. We always have our Faith Friday guests. We hand it over and give our viewers some uh, words of wisdom and some inspiration going into the weekend. So. Hey, thanks for letting me be part of uh, just this part to just say a reminder. I'm an Enneagram 7, like flaming 7. <laughs> I'm just like, I want to find the joy everywhere. <laughs> and there's a uh, letter that a guy named Simon Peter wrote to his friend. He said, suffering produces endurance. Endurance produces character. And character produces hope. And for me, I want to go straight to the hope. Yeah. Like, I just want to pass by all the suffering part. And I think it's been a good reminder of me to slow down a little bit, to say some of the difficulties I'm facing is going to produce something in me, like some more endurance. That will produce some character. Like uh, patience is a characteristic I'm working on. And I, just, I make coffee nervous. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like that guy. <laughs> but what I'm trying to do is to slow it down a little bit. And then if I can just chill out a bit, maybe I'll find some hope. Hope that'll last. Because <laughs> people try to avoid suffering. They live their whole lives avoiding suffering. Yes, why? Because they made a rule that, like, like I'm going to avoid suffering because the rule, the story is that suffering is just super painful, and, and it is, but I want to see the outcome of this. And if you've lost your hope, you know, if you lose your keys, you think, where did I see it last? Mm -hmm. And you go back to there. So if you've lost your hope during this time, just say, where did I see this the last? last if you lost your faith, you just say, where was the last time I really felt like I encountered my faith? Go back to those people. Go back to that oh, place. And great. just don't find somebody who will tell you what to do. Find somebody who will tell you who you are. That's great. I love that. That's great. Bob Goff, thank you so much. <laughs> we really appreciated those words of wisdom. I think we could all uh, use those and some more. So it's all in the book here. Uh, you can get it. Undistracted. Capture your purpose. Rediscover your joy. You can find it everywhere books are sold. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.